Hey there, everyone. This is Alice, and today we're going to look at a property that was sitting on five acres going for 1.4, well, the asking is 1.49 million, and it's in Half Moon Bay. Um, it wasn't even too remote. It was about 12 minutes from downtown Half Moon Bay on Persima Creek uh, Drive. So let me show that to you now. So I'm going to show a video of it, a quick 10 second video I did while I was on the property. And I showed this to some clients and they weren't interested. So I thought I would share it with you here because I, I found it pretty interesting. So as you can see, it was, let's see if I can start this. Boop. So there's a building here. There's a house that was um, pretty dated. It didn't look like someone had lived there for quite a while. And then there was this garage and it was a pretty neat setup. There was a loft at the top that you could a staircase here that entered from this uh, house. Um, and then there was also an entrance at the bottom. So that was pretty neat. Um, I think for this property, what you're really buying here is the land and the ability to have the uh, utilities. Um, and the utilities, which were, uh, it had a well, and I looked at the well report and it didn't look like there was anything, no E. coli um, found or anything like that in it. And I'll go into that shortly. And there should be a septic somewhere here. I wasn't entirely sure where it was, but that's something that if you wanna make an offer on a property with acreage, you wanna figure out, okay, like, is it hooked up to the city water, um, city sewer? Do you have your own septic? When's the last time the septic was pumped? Um, those are just a few things to think about if you're thinking, oh, I really want a property with, with acreage. And I know some of this because uh, my dad has acreage and that is just something you have to deal with. Um, so that looked like it was a water tank. I wasn't hundred percent sure, but I have one on my family has something like that. So that's what ours is. And so one thing to note too, if you're going to drive to a remote property, make sure to download all the disclosures and screenshots of the property lines before you go there. Um, so in the olden days, realtors used to like print out the MLS sheet and then they'd go with you with their clipboard. But these days we all have our cell phones and we just think, oh, we can look it up, you know, like when we're on the property. But for this, I actually had, I got there and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> there was another agent and none of us had any of the information. Um, so we had, I personally, I just left and I got downloaded all the information on my phone and like had the property lines and came back to it for the showing. Um, so as you can see here, it looks like they had some horses or cattle or something and Sometimes too, when you're on these big acres, um, acre plots of land, you'll see like the old owner put up a, a barbed wire fence and that can kind of give you an idea of where the lines are. Um, but what you'll want to do before you close, um, it's best to have a survey performed to make sure you actually know like this is the land that you are buying. Um, and title reports will also tell you um, that surveys are very um important if you are not 100% sure. So as you can see, there's that, yeah, really pretty. It also just rained recently in town, so it's more green than usual. There's like clovers all over the place, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I would do next. Let me stop sharing this. Um, so the next thing I mentioned, you know, looking at the property lines for large acreage. Let me just share this. So as you can see, this property was a, an interesting kind of like, shape. Um, so there was a road here and then there was this barbed wire fence and that's how we could kind of tell uh, where the property began and ended. We didn't walk the entirety of this is a total of five acres um, but we did get to around here and it was pretty hilly so maybe you're looking for a flat parcel or a, maybe you like hills. Um, one of the comments that the person I was with had was um, why didn't they put the hill at the or the house at the top of the hill because the neighbor had a house at the top and I said to them well sometimes you know you build where the utilities are and where it's easier to get water and often in the lower areas that's where the water um, is easier to access and it's less drilling so that might have been why the house was lower and next to this road that's one interesting thing um, again like I said in the other video if you've watched my other one on um, disclosures like checking to see who owns it and making sure it's free and clear. Um, so this is owned by a trust. Okay, let me look. I have not looked at all these disclosures, but this is just an idea. For this one, there was uh, some substantial rot and pest reported. So I think 
So you look at this and be like, okay, what's happening here? Some termites, it's not very unusual to have termites. Um, and I, usually if I'm just like skimming, I'll just scroll down to the bottom and be like, okay, what is the total cost estimate? Again, these should be in, in uh, purchased by the seller usually. Uh, okay. 2,400. So I'm like, okay, that's not, not too much, but I did hear that there was, I heard, okay, but this, so section, this part is not, section two is not, but section one is $18,000 of uh, that, the termite dry rot repair. And this is just one, one bid here from one contractor. So maybe you could get another contractor who'll um, have less or give you a lower quote and so then I'll just like look at the photos it's really nice when they do have photos they don't always this looks like a lot of mold growing here um it could be like water that, that went into the crawl space um and yeah just like observing and understanding exactly what you're buying so and I have seen I've seen um pest termite dry rot up to like 27k and that's pretty substantial so that's something to factor into your offer. Not always, not necessarily a deal breaker, but it could be depending on how much um, you can afford. This definitely looks like, I'm no licensed contractor, but that does look like some bug activity there. So that's one thing to note. Again, it was a, a pretty dated property and we did a lot of work. So it might be one of those gut jobs. And then I mentioned the well. So yeah, looking at the well, um, don't be afraid to, if you're really serious about making an offer and you see, okay, they did this, like when I look at this, this data analyzed, I don't exactly understand what's happening here. So it's like, okay, it's a drinking water thing, but you could call the soil control lab and see and ask them like, hey, could you tell me a little bit more about your report? So that's what I would do here. It looks like there is nothing wrong with it, but I am again, not a licensed professional in doing water and soil samples. Uh, what other things would I watch out for for property? Again, like cell phone service can be very important. And if there's Wi-Fi and the ability to get Wi-Fi if you're planning to work remote. Um, let's look at the, the actual listing here because I think that'll, so I'm gonna go through some photos. Um, and this is like pretty much exactly what it looked like at the time. Um, let me see if I can just go through how it scrolls. Okay. Um, so yeah, fences are really nice. This photo actually looks a lot better than it really was. Um, and this photo also looks better than it was. So really going to the property and seeing what you're buying, uh, I'd say is very important. Uh, let's see. And then just reading, this one had an inspection report. So reading the inspection report, this deck was a little bit wobbly. Um, and probably was mentioned in that termite report as having some issues. As you can see here, it's like some old flooring. It would have been a very, very cool Airbnb though. Like had all the trappings of an Airbnb and a ton of potential um, and a great lot. I thought it was a gorgeous lot. So what I do here, let's see, um, five acres, like a huge value. If you can get it at this price, like that's a steal. Um, and another thing important is like, okay, how close is it to um, the like different activities and food and restaurants? And you can see here's the location and it is not too far from shopping and food and New Leaf, which I really like in Happen Bay, um, big fan. And um, another feature of this property was it was behind a, a hill. And when you're living on the coast, that's pretty cool because the, the marine layer will come in um, and the wind will blow in from the ocean. And so sometimes I was telling um, the buyers yesterday, it'll stop and that hill here will stop the clouds from rolling in. So it can be a little bit more sunny in the back of the valley. And I have not lived in this exact area, but that is what I've seen where I live. So that's just a little bit about um, acreage. I mean, I could go on forever. Uh, but definitely, yeah, talk to licensed professionals, read the disclosures, um, think about like, are you really ready to be that remote? Um, I know like I've lived in remote areas and it's really cool. You can do kind of whatever you want and you, you feel very free, but it's also like um, you'll have situations perhaps when you start to smell like sewage and you're like, oh my goodness, uh, I need to uh, 
get rid of the sewage and you need to hire someone to come in and remove that. Or maybe the well needs to be uh, moved because you've drained out all the water. I'll show another thing here too that, that made me confident about this property. So you can see, I mean, the name in the, the road is Creek. So there was a Creek on the other side. So to me, that's a good sign that there's like access to water, like the groundwater. Again, I'm not a professional with this stuff, but um, for my past life, um, my family doing wells and whatnot, that is typically a good sign when you're in the lower valley. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or want to see more content like this or you're eyeing a property, just let me know and would love to talk about it. Thanks for watching.